Hi, everybody, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm telling you what, I, I, this is going to be, I think, a very short video. But um, I, first of all, I, I really want to thank everyone uh, who's been so positive and encouraging in their comments um, on my channel. I've only had a few people that I've had to remove, and that's really, it's just a huge blessing to think that we are one in the body. Um, we are one in the bond of love. There's that song. We are one in the bond of love. I probably had the wrong word, but we are one in the spirit and the spirit is God. We are one in the bond of love. Showing my age, probably. <laughs> that, that's an old song. I don't even know if I have the right words, but um, I just wanted to briefly tell you, um, when I was mentioning, um, I'm sorry, I'm saying so many ums. When I was mentioning people that I have watched, I forgot to mention Barry Scarborough. And I'm going to put a link to his latest video, but he, he, he's really good. Just this normal guy. And um, he was, I think he has 12,000 subscribers to his channel. Um, and he get he, his latest video is just about all the confirmations um, that that he gets that and and y'all have given me confirmations too. Um, you know, God is trying to tell us what's <laughs> what's coming. You know, uh, and the people that aren't awake, they aren't interested. But the people who are awake, we're wanting to wake more people up, right? So anyway, um, this morning I, uh, I was, I've been having a problem about my church, right? And I went uh, last Tuesday night to the women's Bible study. But this morning I was like, I, I'm not, I just don't want to go to um, my normal church. Um, I just plain skipped church last week, um, but Ferry and I, we were thinking about just doing, getting together and doing church ourselves, um, just the two of us. And so we said, well, we'll wait till, till uh, Sunday morning to decide. So, and that I was going to, I was going to make the decision. So, um, I really didn't want to go to my church cause they're all about this. They're talking about, um, the five year plan. I am not going to be here in five years. <laughs> I'm not going to be here in a few weeks. I just, I can't. There are so many people that are getting confirmations. Um, you know, I asked for a confirmation about um, October. And God directed, directed my little fingertips to make it very clear that the answer to the question is, I was not going to be here. Um, and all of us um, should be asking God for, you know, in uh, for our own confirmations. Well, this morning, I was like, I'm not going to my regular church. Um, and I was like, God, you know, should we meet in a park? And I was just getting ready and just talking with him. Like, should we meet in a park? Where would be a good place to meet? You know, what would we... Um, you know, I'm I'm older. I'm a 12 year old. Fairy's a four year old. So I thought, oh, you know, what am I supposed to teach him? <laughs> teach about, you know. And then all of a sudden, it was like I thought, oh, let's go to Johnson Fairy Baptist Church. It's a church near where Fairy lives. I've never been there. I've heard it's a good church. Um, uh, Bryant Wright, who's the pastor there, I've heard him, he's in Atlanta, he's got a thing called Right from the Heart, it's just like a 30 second or one minute uh, radio commercial, I believe. Anyway, I just was like, I mean, what, th this was totally not, uh, it's not a voice, <laughs> it's just not a voice, it's just like the thought just pops in your head, and um he, and I was like, oh, I think we should go to Johnson Ferry Baptist. I mean, I, he gave me the thought. I didn't, I don't know what. But anyway, this is why it's so wonderful. 
Um, I get there and um, I go to where the visitors area is and I, the woman is wanting to register me for visiting the church. And I said, well, you know, I'm really, um, I, you know, I go to this other church and um, I'm just really here just to see if this is a good place for my friend Fairy to go to because she lives close by. And, um, and of course, then I said, I said, I don't have many more weeks to go to church. And first of all, it was very refreshing that this woman was interested in knowing uh, about the rapture. And she didn't, she had not, um, God had not given her anything about it. Like she didn't say, oh, you know, I've had dreams or uh, been talking to God about it. Um, but she was listening to me and I'm telling her, you know, um, this is what's coming. Um, I'm telling her about the Feast of Trumpets and um, the Revelation 12 sign, everything. And um, she was listening. And I told her about my channel and told her, you know, that God had had me start it when he started giving me rapture dreams. There are so many people on YouTube now that um, God is communicating with. He wants everyone to get the message. And I, I feel honored that you would listen, listen to me, really. I feel honored to be used by God. And and really, if there's any way that I can help anybody who um, isn't saved to get saved, you know, time is running out, and I, I really want to help in any way that I can. Um, so I'm like John the Baptist. Repent. Repent, because the kingdom of heaven is near. And repentance is godly sorrow that produces repentance. And it's something... You even have to ask God for. You have to ask Him to give you repentance. Ask Him to have you see the sin. So it turns out we go into the church. I meet her. Fairy's already in there, and it's the gospel from the. I mean, it's like gospel throughout. They're they're reading some scripture from Revelation four, I believe. Um, there were several different scripture readings. The songs that we were singing. Um, just full of gospel just full of gospel and um and i'm gonna put a link i think it'd be great for you to listen to this sermon I, i'm i'm going back <laughs> i've you know i've got a few weeks i'm gonna go back um but i'm gonna put a link into uh listening to his sermon he was talking about the antichrist and the end times and the future forever reign of jesus and we were just like, like, oh my goodness. It was so meaty, so full of meat, you know. It was deep. It was not, um, you know, I mean, the Antichrist, the Antichrist is scary. But he, he had, he covered so much of the history of, of um, in Daniel, the history that was evident then and the prophecies that, were fulfilled that are now also being fulfilled. Um, he talked about Persia, which is Iran. He talked about um, the Roman Empire, Holy Roman Empire. Um, he talked about the EU and how that ties into the Roman Empire. He talked all about uh, the beast and, um, and the nations and uh, how man thinks he's in control and we have no control. God is the one who's in control. And he talked about the increasing birth pains, the wars and rumors of wars, the um, natural disasters, the, um, oh gosh, I took notes. But anyway, I really, I really recommend listening to it. But the coolest thing about it was that, um, you know, I was just, I mean, like I, while I was, listening i was just like god this is so good this is like just you know fills my heart and and makes me so excited and i can't wait to be with jesus and um you know i don't know what percentage of the people in that church are going to be 
left behind? Nobody knows. I mean, there will be people who are in church who are left behind. But that pastor is not going to be one of them. Um, there's a you know huge as he even said you know there's been a huge increase of false teaching, uh, and I'm not saying that my normal church that it's false teaching is just like the urgency uh, of what's about to happen is not there, um, and so that's why I felt like I needed to go to this other place, uh, and they're urgent they're urgent and. Um, it just felt so good. And then as we were leaving, uh, we found out that they're having a, a car show and a barbecue tomorrow for Labor Day. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go do that. And it's, it's, a, it's somewhat farther away. But, you know, um, that's okay. And uh, let's see, what was the other thing? Oh, and then I'm talking about, I'm talking with the lady at the barbecue about how God speaks to me and she's and how I've been kicked out of churches, been kicked out of Bible studies. And she's like, oh, well, you're not going to get kicked out of that here. You know, it's like we believe people hear from the Holy Spirit. Um, and, you know, I was telling her the whole reason why I'm here is I think, you know, the Holy Spirit had me come here. And then she said, um, actually, we have a Bible study, a women's Bible study <laughs> that they're this called um, is this the end based on David Jeremiah and then she was talking about how um, Anne Graham Lotz has I think for about four or five years has said that this was going to be the last generation her generation is going to be the one that's raptured um, you know it's not a lot you know a lot of people will if you really talk openly about this they will say you're crazy but we're in good company. <laughs> We're in good company with a lot of crazy people. We're crazy for Christ. Yes, yes, and he is coming back in the clouds. The dead will rise, and then we will meet him in the clouds. Um, those of us who have the Holy Spirit. Um, and if there's anything I can do to help you um, receive the Holy Spirit, I, I want to help you. I'm praying for anyone who watches this that just thinks I'm crazy and um, and there's no way that there is such a thing as the Holy Spirit. You know, um, the carnal mind or the mind, the regular mind that we have before we are born again can't understand, can't spiritually discern um, Scripture. Um, sadly, I know what, well, my, my ex-mother-in-law, she used to read the Bible all the time and um, it's been a while since I've talked to her, probably a few years now, but she said, you know, Terry, I, I stopped reading because I just really never have understood it. Well, that's the truth, because if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you cannot understand it. You, you, can, you can't discern false teaching. You can't, you know, your ears are not able to, uh, and your eyes are not able to see so if you are one of these people who's watching my video and you are religious like I was, um, going to church, uh, thinking you're a good person, but you have never cried out to Jesus to save your life and to take away your sin that he died for, to take it away, um, cry out to him. Cry out, time is running out. I don't think anyone, if you listen to this about the Antichrist, I don't think anyone, he's going to be, he's going to be, uh, I don't know, a thousand times worse than Hitler. You realize it. Hitler had all the, and, and Bryant Wright talks about this, Hitler had all these people that thought he was great, right? And the Antichrist is going to have everybody thinking that he's great that he's wonderful, that he's beautiful, and that he, he even has the apparent wound to his head that should have been deadly, and he comes back to life. So the whole thing, the Antichrist, is all about um, deceiving the people to look like Christ. 
And sadly, if people don't have the Holy Spirit, um, they won't, they won't, they will fall for it. They will fall for it. Um, so listen to Barry Scarborough's confirmation um, video. That I'll put the link in. Listen to Bryant Wright. Um, ask God yourself if it's time for you to wake up. You know, that, you know, that if he wants you to repent, if he wants you to come into his kingdom and to be um, loving Jesus with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength and to love others. Um, I pray that many, many in these last few weeks, less than that time maybe, um, that they will um, come to Jesus. Because Jesus is coming. <laughs> it's, it's time to come to Jesus. Repent of your sins and um, beg Him to give you the Holy Spirit. Father, thank you for um, directing my feet to be at a church that is eagerly waiting for you. Lord, I pray that those who are listening to this, that um, you will have mercy. If they don't know Jesus, you'll have mercy and compassion and bring them into the kingdom. Um, Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you for what you've done for me, that I was a fake Christian and that you showed me what a real life in Christ is really all about. And that you, what was used for evil against me, you turned and used for good. Um, I just thank you. I thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross and defeating death. Oh, death, where is thy victory? Where is thy sting? And that you rose again and that you are eternal. You are alive now and you will forever, as you've always been alive, um, and you are our rescue, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Spirit. Pray these things in Jesus' name, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. And I pray also for Iran, um, just because um, I believe it's one of the fastest growing nations. I pray that many, many in Iran will um, be saved in these last days. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Um, read your Bible. Ask God to give you ears to hear and eyes to see. Um, and remember, I don't. I think this is true. There's never been a person who died who said, "Oh boy, I I really wasted my time reading the Bible." Oh, boy, I wish I hadn't spent so much time reading the Bible. No, they might go, wow, I should, for me, it's like, oh my goodness, I can't believe how much time I spent playing tennis, <laughs> you know? Yeah, tennis was good, but um, not anything like knowing Jesus and spending time with him and, and spending time in his word and in prayer. And anyway, I said this would be a short video and it's not a short video, but God bless you. Ask for confirmations. Thank you so much for um, sharing confirmations with me. I look forward to meeting my brothers and sisters, and um, and I pray that um, many will come to Christ before it's too late. Just, yeah. <laughs> All right. God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye.